Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to disable any bloatware app on your Android device without being rooted. Now because of the way Android works pre-installed system apps cannot be uninstalled unless you have root access. These apps are commonly referred to as bloatware since they fill up your app drawer and you can't get rid of them. But while you can't uninstall any of these apps without having root access you can disable some of them. This effectively removes all links to the applications so they're nowhere to be found when they've been disabled. But not all apps can be disabled and this is mainly because your device manufacturer or carrier want to force them on you. So even if you've disabled as many apps as you can there's still plenty of leftover bloatware on a lot of devices. Up until now root has been the only way to get rid of such apps but a new Windows program from developer Gates Jr. will finally allow us to disable any app. To get started you'll need to download the exe installer file for the program which is called the bloater. I have this download link available in step one of my full tutorial on gadget hacks so head over there to grab your copy. Then when the file is finished downloading go ahead and launch it. From here just follow the prompts for installation and when that's finished go ahead and launch the bloater. At this point you'll need to make sure USB debugging is enabled on your Android phone or tablet and you'll also need to install the ADB drivers on your Windows machine. If you need any help with either of those topics though just check out my article on gadget hacks. But once you have it all set up go ahead and connect your phone to your PC with a USB data cable. At this point this first button that was grayed out should now become available. So click read device packages to begin. When you do that the program will inform you that disabling certain apps can cause issues with Android. This basically means that if you disable something vital your phone may not be able to run properly. So be sure to use some discretion while you're disabling apps. And as a general rule of thumb if you don't see it in your app drawer then I wouldn't disable it. But once you close out that message go ahead and click the first button again to generate a list of your installed apps. From here you should note that all of these app listings don't necessarily have a common name. But you can see in the package name that this is Chrome, this is Yelp and so on. But all you have to do to disable some apps from here is tick the boxes next to their entries. From here click apply then debloater will do its thing and the apps you selected will be disabled. You'll immediately notice that these apps have disappeared from your phone so it's almost as if you've uninstalled them. Now if you want to re-enable any of the apps that you disabled just click read device packages again. From here scroll through the list and you'll notice that the checkboxes next to your disabled apps are ticked. So untick any app that you'd like to re-enable. Then click apply and the apps will be enabled again. So it's a really simple process and we can finally remove any bloatware app without having to be rooted now. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.